Hello YouTubers, welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel, this is Johnny. Today's lab is going to continue my Psychotic Secret Server Cloud Lab. In previous lab, we already applied a trial for Psychotic Secret Server Cloud. And uh, previous video, we also installed a local distributed engine on server 192.168.2.231. This video is going to focus integrated with our domain controller 192.168.2.14 51 sector local list domain. We also gonna do some remote password changing as well. Let's start it. First, let's log in to our Psychotic Secret Server Cloud. You can either use Psychotic One account or local login account. It doesn't matter as long as your account has administrative rule permission. We're going to add it one secret. It's going to be Active Directory account. Great secret. Second step, go to admin, directory service. We're going to utilize directory service to synchronize user and groups and authenticate against your network. Go to configuration. We're gonna enable those service and uh, synchronization. Those steps are same as your on-prem version. Go to the domain. You're going to add a new domain, Active Directory Domain. You're going to use admin account, which we just created. This account only needs able to read the users group in your Active Directory. Validate and save. Now we need to choose the group to synchronize. So we have created pan related group. Pan admin group, pan audit group, pan manager group, pan user group. So we're gonna do pan admin group, pan audit group, pan manager group, pan user group, pan user group two as well. So those five groups we're gonna choose to do synchronization. Let's sync now. You can check logs, the synchronization has been finished. At the same time, you can go back to users menu to check the new users synced from our on-plan AD 
to psychotic cloud. Those are our new users. Now we need to assign groups. For our TSSM admin group, we can add it more users. We add pen admin one in there. Save. Now we're gonna try login. We logged in with our AD user pen admin one, which has administrator role permission. As you can see, we can see all admin menus. So AD integration has been completed. Our third step is to do remote password changing. We're going to create a new secret and use it as our example to do remote password changing. Let's add a new secret in. It will be our AD admin account. Pen test admin one. Domain will be fit1sec.local. Username will be same. Password. You need to know this password since it's gonna be used by itself to change it password. So you cannot put the random password in there. So we create the, our test admin and now we're gonna do enable remote password changing settings. Just two clicks. And then we can enable remote password changing and have it. Let's do save. We can go back to our secret, which we just created. As you can see, the last heartbeat status shows pending. If you check remote password changing here, we're gonna see the settings changing password using credentials on this secret. And auto change not enabled. In this case, we're gonna do change password now. We can use random generated password. Also, we can use manual password. Let's do randomly generated password. So there's a pending password change for this secret. You can tell the last half bit set status has been shown success. We can go back to our admin menu to check remote password changing status. As you can tell, it has been changed successfully. To verify that, we can show the password from the secret. It is random generated password. That all for my today's video. Hope you like it. Please give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel if you haven't.